So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keeper is, we have a crisis, a bubble shortage. Because after this jar, and this half jar, and then that jar, and that jar, then there's only one jar left. Not good enough. So we need to make some bubbles, and we need to stop them from popping. Unpopable bubbles. <laughs> Hi, yeah, it's ticket time. <laughs> oh, wrong way. <laughs> Time. Wow, Tinkerers, we all love bubbles, and bubble wands come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. The <laughs> so to make our first bubble wand, I'm going to be using a really simple household item. A drinking straw and some pipe cleaners. So what I want you to do is to take two or three straws get some scissors and if you need some help with the scissors just ask mum or dad and then I'm going to cut them each straw into three pieces just like that and then you pick up all the pieces of straw and gather them into a group take your pipe cleaner and I want you to wrap it around and then to tighten it up I'm just going to twist the pipe cleaner around like this so he's holding them all together like a big family now in one end, you're going to use your mouth to blow through the straws and on the other end is where the bubbles are going to come out. Look how simple that is and it's a beautiful bubble wand. The square bubble wand! Now the second bubble wand I'm going to make today, we're going to try and make some shapes. <laughs> Do you like making shapes? Yes. Yeah, me too. So I want to see if I can make us a square bubble. Do you think I'll be able to? I don't think so. Write your answer down in the comments. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're gonna fold it in half because a square has equal sides, doesn't it? 90 degree angles and every side of the square is exactly the same length. So I folded my pipe cleaner in half and then I'm going to do that again just so we know that every length is exactly the same size. Now as I undo my pipe cleaner, you should start to see that lovely square shape. Can you see the square? Now I'm just going to twist the corner so it's all joined together. And I'm going to do that again with another pipe cleaner. Fold it in half, fold it in half again. With each side the same length. Twisting the corner so it's nice and tight together. So here we have our two squares. But now, we want to be joining them together to make a cube. So I'm going to take another pipe cleaner. I need to cut through the pipe cleaner, which is a bit tricky because of course they've got wire in the middle. So be careful of the sharp ends. And again, I'm going to fold these both in half to make sure they're exactly the same length. Cut it carefully with the scissors. So then I should end up with four pieces of pipe cleaner that are exactly the same length. And this is how we're going to form our cube. Each pipe cleaner, I'm gonna wrap around one corner of the square. So we have what kind of looks like a table, but now we want to attach our other square to our pipe cleaner. Do you think we're going to be able to blow a square bubble, Tinkerers? I'm not sure. I don't know, let's find out. Don't make the end of your wand too long. Because the longer it is, the bendier it gets and the more wobbly. Purple and blue and clear and green and every other colour that you've ever, ever seen. I said every is single it a colour shape? that you've no. ever, ever seen. Yeah, purple. Oh no! We've had a blowout! Cubic McCubington. Can we do this? Ugh, that didn't work. Seems to be working. Why is it that we can't get a square bubble, Tinkerers? One more try, Tinkerers. Here we go. <laughs> Not a square <laughs> bubble inside. <laughs> Back to the square bubble drawing board, Tinkerers. <laughs> so, Tinkerers, we've made bubbles, we've learned how to make bubble ones, but what we still haven't yet nailed is how to make. The unpoppable bubble. And 
that's how I jar them. So, I've decided to come up with a new secret recipe for the unpopable bubble. So let's see if we can do it. Unpopable bubbles! Now this crazy liquid I'm playing with here is called glucose. You can also use corn syrup or another substance called glycerin and it depends what country you live in as to what people call it and how available it is. But as you can see, it's really kind of like a slime but see-through. And I'm hoping that this will be the secret ingredient to stop our bubbles from popping. So other than that, you need something to mix your bubble liquid in. You need some water and you need some dishwashing detergent. Ooh, yes, very technical ingredients right here. First of all, I'm gonna put some water into my bubble dish. All right, water, you stay there. Next, I'm going to put in dishwashing liquid. Ooh. Mm, that's probably enough. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? And last of all, I'm gonna put in the glucose. Let us put it in a rest. Come on, bubble all right, you get in there. And now I've got to stir it up a bit. Now that glucose is super sticky. So you really need it to break down all through the water, which is gonna get really boring for you. So I'm gonna go time vortex. <laughs> you can see it's starting to break down, not as goopy as it was before, but we need to keep going time vortex. Is it broken down yet? Not quite. Time vortex! Little slush is trying to break down the glucose. He's putting up a good fight. He's going, I don't want to be broken down. I'm like, you going down, glucose, you going down. So we're getting there. Still some stuck to the spoon. Come on, smush in! Oh, had a spillage. Oh, more spillage. <laughs> okay, nay, nay, calm down. Now let's see if our bubbles are unpopable. We shall take the bubble wand. Let's use this one. Hmm. Now I know this sounds crazy, Tinkerers, but someone once told me if you put a sock on your hand, you might be able to catch the bubble. Let's see. All right, well now, <laughs> now I definitely feel like a bit of a ning nong, but I'm gonna try it anyway. All right, sock, let's see if you do work. Blow some bubbles. <gasps> yeah, unpopable bubble. Oh. Let's try again. <laughs> So exciting. Oh, two, oh, one and a half. Go again. All right. Now to figure out how to jar them. Why did that sock make a difference? Let's do it again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we totally caught it. And it didn't pop. We beat the bubble. We are so clever. We got the tank of breath, making a bubble bubble bubble. It didn't really scan. Doesn't matter. So it seems that that glucose made all the difference. Oh. <laughs> it's time. You're getting messy. It's time. <laughs> Tagging the sad face. I'm a sad square, I'm a sad square, I'm a sad square. <laughs> I wanted a square bubble.